Today on G Reviews, 3D printing. Is it right for you? Is it useful? How much does it cost? How do you even do it? Does it smell bad? We're gonna answer all these questions today on G Reviews. Stay tuned. All right, today on episode of G Reviews, I'm gonna be talking about 3D printing in general, my experience with it so far. I've had my Ender, 3D S1 for about a month now, and I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the cool little things that I've made with it uh, to see maybe if it's it's worth it for you. So uh, I, I looked around a little bit. I, uh, I was talking to a buddy at a conference, and he just convinced me like I kind of wanted one for a while, but I just didn't really think it would be that useful. Uh, it wouldn't be really like worth the the price. Um, I'll be honest. So I paid about three hundred dollars for this. And uh, really, I thought it would be a lot more expensive. I mean, my normal printer right next to it, I think, was, <laughs> was about the same price. And that just prints on paper. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of show you a couple of things on the table here that I've printed with the 3D printer. Uh, and again, I don't need to make this a super long video. I just want to show you kind of the different things that I printed and see maybe if it's worth it for you to kind of discuss a couple of little materials and the process and all that good stuff. So um, anyway, so really, it's pretty easy to get started with this guy. This one has something called auto bed leveling, so that makes it much more user friendly, much more beginner friendly, uh, because the most important thing with a 3D printer is that that bed, the surface it's printing on right there, is completely level, because if it's not level, um, the whole 3D printer is just gonna get messed up, because all it's doing is melting plastic uh, on layer by layer by layer, so if that bottom layer is uneven at all, the whole thing is just gonna not come out right. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of the little things that I printed. So this is just a little bunny. Uh, this is like one of the things, the little 3D prints that the uh, the printer comes with on the SD card. Just a cute little thing. This probably took about 45 minutes to print. Something else that came on the printer itself is this little like, I guess a little Chinese cat or something. And these things are really strong. I mean, you can, I mean, they're surprisingly strong. And the, the material that it, it's called PLA, which is like the most common, um, an easy to use uh, printer material. Just a little, uh, little coat hook thing, so if you, you know, wanna print that out. Um, some of the other things that I printed, I wanted some uh, house numbers for my mailbox, so I printed out just some, some 3D numbers rather than going to Home Depot and buying stickers. This anchor, like just like nautical stuff in our house, so a couple of these. I printed another one in white over here, you can see on the wall. Uh, probably the biggest thing I've printed so far is this, uh, this pen holder for my desk. I printed it in multiple different colors. So what's really cool is you use a program called Cura um, and a website called Thingiverse. So Thingiverse is where I get all these designs from. It's free. You can just go on there, thingiverse.com. So all, essentially all you do is you download the file from Thingiverse, put it in Cura, and Cura is what's called Slicer. And essentially all it's doing is it's, it's putting all the little layers, right? So you do that and then put it on an SD card and then stick it in the 3D printer and it prints it. So again, I didn't design any of this stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's a pretty cool pen holder. I'll have this forever. I mean, it's again super strong. Another thing, again, this is something called print in place. Like the like the engine, it actually has these moving parts, but it actually just prints it by itself. It just puts the whole thing together all in one piece, which is pretty neat. Um, another more recent thing that I did, which I, I really like, is um, these little dog collars. So uh, this one says Holly, and what's cool about it is in on Thingiverse.com you can customize this. So if you have a, a dog. Uh, cat, whatever, you can actually just print out and you can use whatever color, whatever color filament you have and you know, you can customize these little dog tags. There's so many different little things you can do. Um, I'm into RC cars, so this is a like a drift wheel for a uh, Traxxas Rustler. This right here is a uh, jewelry organizer that I printed for my life. And as you can see, it's kind of just like two pieces. It's this piece and then this piece, pretty neat. I just made these not too long ago, but all it is, is uh, again, these designs are from Thingiverse, and then I just got uh, this piece right here from Amazon, and I just made little cute little earrings. My wife seems to like them, so kudos for that. Thank you, 3D printer. All in all, uh, I think it's pretty useful. I mean, again, you do have to use it to get your, the use out of it, obviously. You have to you know, use it to get your money's worth out of it. All in all, I think it's a really cool, just kind of creative outlet. So, it, and eventually maybe I'll get into designing my own parts. And then you can actually start making money with it. You can sell stuff on Etsy. But um, if you just download stuff on Thingiverse, you can't do that. But again, on a whole, I think it's a really cool thing to have. Uh, and again, just if you need a part, if you need 
a bowl if you need whatever. I mean, there's, I have, I've printed out some, some pots. I've printed out stormtrooper helmets, like, you know, the small little ones. But um, on a whole, I mean, kind of just from the smallest to the biggest thing, smallest thing would be this little bunny. This probably took about 45 minutes. Whereas I put, printed out like a pretty big plant pot. Um, that took maybe seven hours. So it does take a while. But um, again, you just turn it on and then you just work, right? You turn it on and you just go out and do stuff. There's no smell. There's no really noise. It's very quiet. So, I mean, my desk is right here and I just have this thing going all the time. So all in all, really cool. Pros to it. Print out pretty much anything. It's pretty neat. It's quiet. It's not that expensive. Once you acquire the thing, these rolls of filament here are 20 bucks each and they last, I mean, quite a long time. Cons, I would say... I mean, it can be expensive. I mean, $300 is nothing to sneeze at. But like I said, once you've had it for a while, you can just keep using it and you can print out all sorts of really useful little gadgets around the house. I think it, it you know pays for itself pretty quickly. So that is my kind of just overall review of this 3D printer and just 3D printing in general. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching. I will have a link in the description of where you can pick up the printer and all of the 3D filaments. Again, thank you so much for watching G-Reviews. Take care, everybody, and uh, be safe.